Yo, what's up, Amaro C? And it's Flynn Johnson. Oh my! Oh my good gracious! Delia Deets! Delia, can't find my feet! Delia Deets with the dancing feet! Oh, baby! <laughs> baby! I love I love Beetlejuice. <laughs> Delia Deets! Love it. Is that from Beetlejuice, eh? From Beetlejuice, yeah. Oh, Delia Deets. Ah, uh, I'm not up on Delia it. Delia Deets, I just love it. I just love being me, to be honest. I do, I love it. <laughs> Welcome back to the show where we talk about growing up and everything in between. Um, mm. Make sure you leave us a little like, little review, all that good stuff, and tell your ma, tell your da, tell your sister, tell your auntie, tell your tortoise, in Rocky's case. Tell your fucking tortoise. She's and here behind me in the studio having a little nibble and some lettuce. Oh, Tilla the Great! <laughs> oh, Tilla the Hun! Oh, Tilla the Hun! <laughs> Tiller the Hun, yeah, baby. XO, XO. <laughs> oh, Tiller the Hun. <laughs> Phone on selfie mode. Crazy. <laughs> it's wild right now. <laughs> lip filler. <laughs> lip filler. <laughs> <laughs> she got that lip filler. She wildin'. Cheek oh, Tiller. Cheek implants. <laughs> oh, Tiller with the lip filler. Oh, Tiller with the lip filler. <laughs> Straight killer. Oh, listen, <laughs> let's, just, <laughs> let's just get into this. <laughs> oh, my Lord. <laughs> Bro, did you shave the beard off? I shaved the beard off. Beard off. Beard off. I shaved the beard. Not a beard I have out the back. I shaved that off, bro. Yeah. yeah oh, no. my. I shaved the fucking beard. I'm stupid. Good gracious. <laughs> oh, you've regretted it instantly. My bird off. Instantly. Yeah, you look about, um... 40 kilo heavier. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't look 40 kilos heavier. No, stop. <laughs> no, you don't. You don't. You don't. You don't. You actually look younger. You look about 12, bro. I <laughs> know. It's mad, isn't it? Like, I said to you. 12. I feel, I feel like a snail without a shell, bro. I just feel real. I don't know. I feel like a cheat in myself. from Jim. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> I feel like a cheat in myself or something, bro. I feel real slimy or something. You know what I mean? I feel real like... I don't know, I feel like a sleeve in without uh, this beard. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, we're looking like Skeeter from Doug. Uh, Doug uh, Funny. Oh, bro. No, you I look like I, Doug Funny, bro, with the smooth face. I walked, I walked out after doing it, because I didn't say anything to Danielle. Like, you know what I mean? I love a good surprise. Mm. Like, walked out after doing it, walked into the sitting room, and she looked at me. No word of a lie, bro. She looked at me and goes, Jesus Christ. And I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, all right. No, no, like Fair I'm. Enough. No, no, like I'm shocked that you shaved that. Yeah, no, I know. I heard the tone. It's all right. I heard it. Don't worry about it. Yeah. I'm never ever doing it again, though. I'm keeping it forever now. When it comes back, I'm never shaving it again, bro. Never. Anytime shaving. I shave mine off, like like my beard was huge there about a week ago, and I shaved it real tight. Yeah. I shaved. No, when did I shave it? I shaved it on Saturday actually. Just Saturday, just gone. Yeah, yeah. And I shaved it down real tight. Mm. <clears throat> but uh, I remember I shaved it pure tight there a while back, a couple of months back. Um. I think it was after last summer or something. I shaved it real tight, like where it was almost just like stubble. Like, do you know what I mean? It yeah, was yeah, bet yeah. me face. Oh my God. <laughs> Who the fuck is he? <laughs> Who the fuck is he in the mirror? Bro, I seen you, when we first met, I seen you clean shave once. Mm. That's the one time I've ever seen. <laughs> after that, it was just, it was just gone. But I, rem- all day. I remember the beard as well though, bro. I remember your beard was wild at some stage. Like it was long. It was nice and... yeah. When I first when I first started to grow it a couple of years back, yeah, man, um, big king. It beard. was like the big huge yeah. Viking beard with the big huge tash <laughs> that curls, you know all that sort of stuff. Because I had to let it grow out. I had to let it grow huge yeah. and then shave it, then let it grow big again, shave it, and it yeah. gets thicker and thicker. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Where now it's thick as fuck, like you know, it's I a big thick know. beard now, like. I know, yeah. But um, yeah, anytime I shave mine, really, really, really tight to where it looks like I almost have no beard. Yeah. You know, I do look. Oh my god, I have no chin. <laughs> I have a little, a little, uh, like a little pouch underneath here where my chin is supposed to be. I'm like, who the fuck put that there? You know, a big fat ham neck, you know. Oh, my God. I did be looking at myself like, who the fuck is this gazer? We had some, uh, let me just cut in there. We had some technical difficulties. <laughs> some proper technical difficulties. <laughs> We're not actually sat in the same room today, as you can probably tell. Yeah, Flynn's yeah. a little bit under the weather, mm-hmm. and I'm a little bit... Cautious. 
I'm suspicious. <laughs> I hate this motherfucker. Yeah. Uh, I'm suspicious. <laughs> technical difficulties. We just had a little bit of technical difficulty, so we just cut in there. Just slice it up. You probably didn't even notice. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, look, yeah, I was saying, on. right, Sorry. anytime I shave this fucking beard on my face, yeah, yeah, when I shave it pure tight, I have this little fucking fat pouch, this little kangaroo pouch <laughs> underneath here, where my fucking chin is supposed to be, yeah, my neck's fat as fuck, yeah. and my face just puffs out, it's like, it just goes, <laughs> like a little chipmunk with some nuts in there, I'd be like, who the fuck is this cut in the mirror, and I'd be screaming at that, I'd be, I'd, they'd be upstairs looking in the mirror and go, ah, daddy, there's a pedophile in the fucking toilet, you know. Get him! <laughs> she runs up with the brush trying to swat him away. Yeah. Get out of yeah, here, yeah. you fucking <laughs> pedophile! Yeah, yeah. It's like uh, it's me. It's like it's, like it's fucking uh, <laughs> like Scott Calvin when like he's in denial about being Santa Claus and like he shaves yeah. the beard and it's just, he has this round face. Like, you know? That's exactly what it's like, man. Bro, that's what happened to, to me. I was looking at myself and I had the beard and I was like, shit, I must be losing weight in the face. Look, like, you know what I mean? I look bleeding well in the face. <laughs> And then I shaved the brother and I was like, no, if anything, I'll have to fucking, I'll have to gain in it, yeah? But I shaved my face and looked at myself, the same as you, I was like, Daniel! Screaming, I couldn't believe it, bro. Come and get him, get oh, him, he's I on was, the wall! <laughs> I was so, bro, I was so, so, so down about it. She was like, what's wrong with you, now? I was like, I'm, I'm just snapping it. I was like, nothing, nothing wrong with me. And I was just like, will you just stop carrying on? Like, it'll grow back, you know what I mean? And I was just like, no, I look like, I just look uh, like, I feel like I just look like a fucking whale now, bro. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's, yeah. that's the way I look at it now. Like, do you know what I mean? Oh, I get that, I get that. I have all 100%. the mirrors covered in the gaff and all. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, please. All of them have sheets over them. I don't want to see myself. You know what I mean? Even the telly's all smudged and us, you don't see the reflection. <laughs> God forbid. Yeah. Would you? I understand now why you'd never get rid of it, rid of it again. Like, do you know what I mean? Now I understand. I know. I, you know, I probably will at some stage. I just, I like it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I like yeah, it. Yeah. Same with me. It really. gives me, like, it, like it gives me a little bit of confidence. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm like pure, like, uh, I don't know what word you'd use, but like I'm pure, like self conscious about like me weight. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm super self conscious. Like all my clothes are like huge. You know what I mean? Like I wear like like a fucking an XL, fucking you know a jumper or a hoodie. Like be an XL. Like wear a large will fit me fine. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm just so paranoid about me big bleeding dad bod. Do you know? What no, I know. Mean? I'd yeah, <laughs> be too yeah, paranoid yeah, about it. Because yeah. when I because like when when I was younger, <laughs> I used to have to wear like I was that skinny. I was a I was like a bleeding skeleton. Yeah, I yeah. was that skinny. I used to wear fucking the tracksuit bottoms underneath my jeans. You know what I mean? Yeah, to make no, myself no, look no, bigger. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah, <laughs> where yeah. now. Now, as soon as I hit about I don't know twenty five, twenty six, I just started filling out. You mm, know what I mean? Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. eating a lot of takeaways and stuff like that. Like we're eating out all the time and having a good good time we're just enjoying life do you know yeah, what I mean just yeah, enjoying course, food yeah, yeah, yeah. and I just fucking filled out now yeah. I'm not I'm not a huge joke but you know I'm still I'm still self conscious about it no you know I mean? know of course yeah no you're not by any means like you know what I mean I don't think anybody would look at you and go oh he's overweight like do you know what I mean it's the same with me I know when I, when I'm, I, big, I, bound. I'm yeah. big, big bound I'm big bound I'm big bounded I am <laughs> big muscles big muscles that's <laughs> all <laughs> but now I feel you bro that's why like now now I'm the same oh yeah I'll wear like I'll wear the oversized stuff now, like, do you know what I mean? And, like, mm. it's been like that for a while now. And, like, don't get me wrong, I do like, I like the baggy look anyway, like, do you know what I mean? Like, I prefer my clothes yeah. a, a little bit baggier anyway. But Yeah, I'm the same, I love that. Yeah, you know? yeah, no, I love, I love that, I love that look anyway, but it's just, it was like, I don't know, man, I think I was like, I was 21 or something, Rocky. Like, I was like you, I was a stick for the majority of my life, like, you know what I mean? Well, right up until I was about 21. Well, right up until I was about 20. And the same as you, I was eating takeaways, I was just fucking, I was going out into the gargle every weekend, all that shit, you know what I mean, thinking, oh, mm. I'm going to live forever, this is never going to catch up on me, you know what I mean, and uh, <laughs> I, um, and everybody used to always say it to me, they used to always say, that's going to catch up on you, like, and I was like, ah, yeah, whatever, right, but um, it was it was the week, two weeks before my 24th, and I, was, I went into, uh, Top Man was in the centre at the time, and I went in there to just get a white short, like, because I was wearing, like, slacks and, like, Getting yeah. all suits and views, Rocky. Getting all suits and Oh, jeez. Christ. Right? And the communion. But um, I went uh, I went and I tried the short on. And, like, normally, bro, I wouldn't even have to look at the tags around. Or look at the... I wouldn't have to try them on, sorry. i just look at the tags. Small, lovely. You know what I mean? Extra small. Yeah. I could I could wear an extra small T-shirt back in the day. Like, you know what I mean? I picked mm. up a small short, but I got back to the gaff. Yeah? Tried to... <laughs> Tried to put the thing on. <laughs> Tried to put the thing on me, and I was like, "Bro, it was the first time." I was like, 
Oh my god, it was like something just clicked. You ever see like Shadow, what's his name? What's his name? Shallow Hal? You ever see Shallow Hal? Oh like, yeah. Bro, it was yeah, like yeah. that. It was like something just, the opposite of that. It was like something just clicked. And I was like, when I couldn't put in the short, up, short on me, like, I looked in the mirror and I was like, oh shit. I'm going to have to get in the old way, you know what I mean? That, like, bro, yeah. that, that was when the first time I realised that. And it's the same. I'm the exact same. I'm pure self-conscious about it, like, do you know what I mean? So now that this beard is shaved, I won't leave this gap until it comes back. Like, you know <laughs> till it's mean? back. Yeah. No, I'm pure. I'm like that, bro. And it's only been... As I say, it's only been since I've been like 21, 22. Because I fluctuated for a while. Like, do you remember about about two years ago? I was in I was in good nick. Remember, you even said it to me. You were like, bro, it was mm. during COVID. We went out and had a little social distance walk. And you were like to me, yeah. Uh, you were like to me, bro, are you eating? I watched the story. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah. I, I was like, yeah, yeah. And you were like, yeah. Uh, yeah, you need to put on a bit of weight, bro. That's that skinny shit just doesn't suit you, like. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I was like, I oh, know, yeah, but like uh, back then, and it's only been so I was like mad thin like two years ago, and it's only w- within the last two years that I start putting the weight back on, sort of thing. So I've mm-hmm. like, but from the age I've been twenty, like I've kind of like fluctuated, you know what I mean? And then like I'm the sort of person, bro, that by the summer rolls around, or by the end of the summer rolls around, I'll be back to a stick again, like do you know what I mean? Yeah. And so like it's. It's just, it's mad. It's hard. It's harder now because I'm getting older. Obviously, it's harder to lose the weight. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Whereas, like, all I did was just to lose that that weight that time. All I did was sort of just like a drastic lifestyle change, and I was just like, right, well, I'm not gonna drink, and I'm just gonna eat good, and that's all I did. I didn't even exercise, bro. I'll be 100 percent honest with you. Like, I didn't. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Now I was walking up and back from work every day, and that was like a half an hour each way. But that's how I lost all the weight then. But it's harder to lose weight in your older bro. So hard. oh, tell me about it's it. So tell hard. me about it. <laughs> Apart from being like super lazy, it's fucking tough to get yeah. it off. <laughs> it's hard it to get the couch, but I'll tell you. And, and you know, uh, if I was to stop eating shy, like I've done it before, like if I stop eating shy or anything like that, mm. um, the weight just falls on me. I don't have to do anything. I could just sit on the couch and just not eat shy, and it'll just fall on me. That's what I'm saying. Because I'm yeah. not built. Because I'm not built to be this size. You know what I mean? Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I am. I am. Thin, like I'm a thin person or whatever, L- mm. tall and lanky. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Lanky and skinny, <laughs> and uh, yeah. If I was just to fucking eat better, if I was just to eat better now, get back out on the bike yeah. more. Yeah, I'd fucking fall off me. Do you know what fall mean? off you, yeah, exactly. Because again, your body. I'm doesn't just know. so lazy, bro. I'm yeah. just so fucking oh, lazy, it's and all... I love eating. Oh, I just love felt. I love it. Do you bro, know I what? Just my, love felt. Do you know what I think my biggest downfall is? It's the late lo- late night snacks, brother. You know what I mean? That's that's where my yeah. biggest downfall is. Do you know what I mean? It's the it's the raiding the presses like for the chocolate at oh, half eleven, yeah. half eleven that night. Like, do you know what I mean? Like that's oh, yeah. that's what that's where that's where I fall flat. Like, do you know what I mean? Because mm. like I go to bed then with all you have the stuff in your face full of shit, full of chocolate. Like, and then yeah. you go to bed and that's sitting on your stomach, like and. It's not being digested properly and all that shit, you know what I mean? So Yeah, it does happen yeah. with us with the with um you know, like if say it's a busy day, the kids go to bed at about eight. Yeah, so yeah. we like if we're say it's a Thursday or Friday, we'll order a takeaway and it won't like we won't order it till about quarter past eight when the kids are going to bed or whatever. Yeah. So yeah. it doesn't get here till about nine. Yeah. Or like if I go get it, say say if I drive around and get it, like it's yeah. probably half eight, nine anyway. And then yeah. by the time you're finished it, it's half nine, sure, it's late. Like, do you know what I mean? You shouldn't <laughs> yeah. be eating at that at, at that time, especially a takeaway, you know? No, And, like, no, sometimes yeah. it's later than that. Like, some nights it could be half nine. It'd be mm. ten o'clock by the time, by the time we're having dinner. Yeah, yeah. After yeah. having fuck all during the day. Like, so it's just, yeah. it's all over the place. Like, the eating is all over the place. It's, yeah. it's, do you know what it is for me for the, like, for the diets and all that? I don't know what to eat. Yeah, same with me. I'm a picky fucker. I just don't know what to eat because I can't find... Well, I can find things that are healthy that, that uh, I like. That's a lie. Yeah, yeah. I'm ju- it's just you have to fucking prepare the shit. <laughs> I'm just so lazy, bro. You just have to prepare it. You have to find things that you're into and you just have to stick to it. Do you know what I mean? No, I know. But I have no, I like, I have no willpower for like food or anything like that. If it's like anything else, yeah, grand. Mm, but when it comes mm. to money and food, I've just no willpower. <laughs> I just can't. Get, just, it's just money just falls down my pockets, and then food just falls into me big gut. Do you know what I mean? And that's it. Like Rocky, that is it. Rocky's gonna that be, is the truth. Rocky's gonna be fat and broke in five years. <laughs> Ted, yeah, I already am. <laughs> Save me, fucking hell! Oh, please. No, I'm the same, bro. Save me from myself. Oh yeah, I started going to. Uh, I started going to the Double Me Company for that, you know, because they have like the portions laid out for you already, and you can buy your yeah, meals. Yeah. Yeah. Buy our meals for the week and all that, but yeah. like they only have a certain amount of dishes, bro. And like you get a pain in your face, like that's what I doing. I got a pain in my face with it, and I was like, Ugh. eating chicken curries every day. Yeah, like oh, it's this again. Like do you know what I mean? That sort I know. of thing. 
But like with chicken healthy Chicken and rice. Eating. It's always like chicken and rice. Yeah, yeah. You know, fucking yeah. something and rice. Yeah, yeah. Sweet potato fucking fries and then <laughs> yeah, yeah, chicken yeah. with nothing on it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah. No, but I can, I can, I'm the sort of person, bro, I can actually lean into the, like, the the healthy stuff. Like, I, I could eat, mm. like, that time when I was, like, I think when I was at my heaviest, like, back in, like, 2017 or something. Like, I just ate salads for me, breakfast, lunch, and me dinner, like, for, like, two weeks straight. Do you know what I mean? And I yeah. just, I was just walking more, I was getting more exercise and all. I just fell off me, like, within fucking three yeah. weeks or something, bro. People couldn't believe it. They were like, what? It's a story with this fella, you know what I mean? So, like, I can, I can eat, I can eat healthy, like, I'll eat all the mad shit. Do you know what I mean? I'm not picky, like, you know that yourself. I'm not picky at all. Danielle's the picky one out of us, too. Do you know what I mean? Bring Danielle to mm. a nice restaurant, and it's like, do you have a, I know it's not on the menu. But do you have uh, chicken dippers and chips? Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. I asked the twelve-year-old to marry me. I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know I, mean? I get you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I can eat the healthy stuff, bro. That stuff doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me at all. No, <clears throat> I'll eat animal. I don't mind the healthy stuff. Like I like it. I just, I, it's, it's trying to find something that I'll stick with. I, I suppose it's probably like the pickiness, the kind of yeah, yeah. Not, uh, not the pickiness. Sorry, the kind of eating the same thing every day, like the chicken and rice and the fucking salads. It's just boring. You know mm, what I mean? Yeah, no, no. Fuck all flavour <laughs> yeah, to yeah, it, like yeah, depending yeah. on which one you get, you know. Yeah. Where I, think... I, I enjoy a nice juicy steak with a big fucking beef burger with loads of cheese on it and stuff yeah, like that, you know. Yeah, yeah. Oof, See so you you eat, you eat for you eat for pleasure, bro. That's that's yeah, what, exactly. that's what it is. Because yeah. I love my food, baby. <laughs> I love my food. <laughs> So you eat, uh, most most people do like most people eat I'm in pleasure. a love hate relationship with food baby <laughs> I love it it hates me it hates <laughs> <laughs> we ain't never I love separated it, me. God hates it yeah <laughs> yeah we ain't never separate we to- <laughs> we together forever we together forever shit <laughs> but uh, yeah no um most people do bro that's what most people do most people on the planet eat for pleasure like like me like everybody else like do you know what I mean and I think I think the mindset in order to get like into like the healthy stuff and be consistent with it consistent with it and not get a pain in your face with eating the same shit all the time i think the mindset is and i heard this off somebody i can't remember who it was but i don't know if it was my dad or i don't know i don't know who it was but if you rather than eating what what you what you want to eat when you want to eat you should sort of look at your body as like this machine and you just have to fuel it with stuff like do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I know that's, yeah, I know yeah. that's pure extreme, like, do you know what I mean? But instead of instead of doing it for pleasure, eat to fuel your body sort of thing, like, do you know what I mean? I think that's yeah. the mindset that kind of changes people, like, then, to be like, right, mm. well... And, like, this whole thing of, like, time, I always thought I was mad about time, like, do you know what I mean? Like, oh, like between between 8 and 11, that's breakfast, like, you have to have your breakfast. And sure, if it gets to half 11, actually, sure you may as well just wait till lunch, like, if you haven't eaten that. Yeah, do you know yeah. what I mean? And then lunch yeah. is at a certain time and dinner is at a certain time. I know plenty of people, bro. Not not me now. I'm a bit like that. I'm a bit like, oh, well, there's no point to having breakfast now. Like, you know what I mean? I'm sort of like that. But I know many people that are just like, oh, I eat when I'm hungry. Like, and that's that. Like, you know what I mean? It's yeah. not like, like, it's not like, yeah. uh, oh, I have me dinner at five o'clock every day or I have me dinner at half five every day. Do you know what I mean? There's people yeah. out there like that as well. They just eat when their body tells them that they're hungry rather than trying to convince yourself you're hungry. Do you know what, Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, rather than yeah. you saying, if you feel all right and you're like, oh, I'm a bit peckish. And it's been, but you'll say to yourself, oh, it's been about like six hours since I last ate. I better eat something like, do you know what I mean? Mm. It's that sort of thing like that you kind of have to, that I have to kick anyway. I'm speaking for myself here. Like it's the sort of thing that I have to kick anyway. Like, do you know what I mean? See, I don't eat, I don't eat, I, I don't eat properly. Like I don't eat breakfast. I'm not a breakfast person. I never yeah. have been. Oh, really? It's yeah. very rare. Yeah, it's very rare I'd have like a bowl of cereal or anything like that or toast for breakfast. Yeah. If yeah. it's like Saturday, we might go We might go to the calf or like go down to Dunn's and get breakfast or something. Mm. Or go to a pub and get breakfast with the kids. Yeah. But it's very, very rare that I eat breakfast. Very rare. Yeah. Uh, lunch is kind of whatever. If I'm hungry, I'll just have something. I right. don't eat at a specific time for lunch. Like I wouldn't go, oh, it's lunchtime. You know what I mean? It's 12 o'clock, it's lunchtime. Or one o'clock, it's lunchtime. I'm not like that. It might get to about half 11. I'm like, oh, jeez, I'm a bit hungry actually. I might have some. Yeah, You yeah. know, and I'll have a sandwich or whatever. Mm. And then dinner is like whatever time, whatever time we it's, stop at. Yeah, 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 <laughs> Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, whatever sure. time we stop, that's when dinner is, you know? Yeah, yeah. No, I get um, that. But I eat shite. Like I eat, like I might have a little sneaky chocolate bar or a packet of crisps or some biscuits or something. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I'm a little yeah. fucker like that, like, and I drink way too much coke now. Yeah, I've started me, drinking bro. way too much coke again. Like, I used yeah. to be a hound for water, just water, 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 but now I'm just, it's too much coke now. I have to, yeah. I have to stop. On the same I'm gonna, one. do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do something. Like, I'll get out on the bike more because we have the big cycle coming up. Oh, um, in a couple of months, 
the big uh, cross country cycle that we're doing. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to lose weight for that, man. I'm gonna have to like <coughs> chop off some pounds for that mm. and get the legs up to up to scratch, get yeah, the stamina yeah, up and yeah. that. But uh, I'd love to do like I'm not a gym person. I've I've gone to the gym for a while with Ricky. I remember me and Ricky used to go to the gym together, and it was yeah. great. Don't get me wrong, it was great. It was great cracking all, and it was tough, and it was you know it's you know enjoyable or whatever. Yeah. But yeah. it's just not for me. It's just not yeah. for me. It's not my scene. Mm-hmm. I'd rather go like I don't know to uh, uh, bo- bo- boxing class or something, or you yeah. know what I mean. I'd rather yeah. go do a bit of boxing or. Uh, I wouldn't go running because my back is being bleeding bits. I'd rather go out on the bike. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like I love yeah, being yeah. out on the bike. Being yeah. out on the bike, like I fucking love it. I love being out on the bike. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't know what else I'd do for an exercise class mm. like or to go exercise and I keep fit. Because yeah, I'm just yeah. not into the gym. I just find it boring. doesn't yeah. stimulate me whatsoever. Yeah. I have yeah. no interest in it. Where if you were to turn around and say, uh, do you want to go join a boxing class every Tuesday? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, or, yeah. Let's go cycling every every fucking Wednesday evening for an hour. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, if you would turn yeah. around and say, let's go to the gym on a Thursday for an hour. No. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I'd rather not. Yeah. <laughs> no yeah, thanks. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> do you know no, what I mean? Yeah, I just have no interest in it, bro. I've no interest in it. I, I, like, I wouldn't work out at home. I yeah, wouldn't work out yeah. in the gym. I've yeah. no interest in it at all. Yeah. Um, but if you were to turn around and say, let's go cycling or let's, let's go a bit of boxing or whatever, I'd be like, yeah. Let's do Absolutely. it. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. No, 100% for that. 100%. I get that. I get that. It is. Like, you kind of have to find your stick, like, you know what I mean? Because going, yeah. to gym, going to gym is a bit monotonous. And I think that's what most people's biggest downfall is. It's sort of like, it doesn't stimulate you. If anything, it's more, it, become, it becomes more of a nuisance, like, where you're like, oh, I have to go to the mm. fucking gym later. Like, you know what I mean? That sort of thing. Like, whereas I'm like Like, you. I know a lot of people, like, I, I, I know a lot of lads that would go to the gym for their mental health yeah yeah that's that's yeah. that's that's what they go for and that's that's what helps them do you know what i mean or they might go for a run because that helps because the endorphins yeah. or whatever like that yeah the endorphins that kind of comes out whatever <coughs> and like it helps them it mellows them out it chills them out or whatever it tires them out mm-hmm. you yeah. know uh it de-stresses them or whatever yeah it never it never did that for me mm-hmm. it never did that for me yeah i i just enjoyed going because i was there with rick it was good crack we had good crack there you know what i mean we we're kind of not like we like we were walking like we were walking hard like yeah, like that yeah, fella yeah. doesn't bleed. That fella's a fucking machine. Like if you yeah. go to gym with him, bro, you ain't coming out with legs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you're coming out. You're coming out fucking crippled with that fella. Do you know what I mean? He puts you to bleed and walk. He does. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. That's you know. It's that's 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 what I'd need if mm. I went to gym on my own. I'd do fuck all and I'd yeah, leave yeah. after twenty minutes. Where you go with Ricky, you're there for an hour and you're yeah. coming out fucking covered in sweat like yeah, piss and sweat yeah, yeah, but it was yeah. good crack do you know what I mean it yeah. was nice to get out like you mm-hmm. know it was nice yeah. to be there with him and just have the crack like or whatever while yeah. walking out yeah but uh, yeah I just I just it never stimulated me in that way like where I was like oh yeah you yeah. know what I mean Did I never you? enjoyed it yeah I didn't get anything from it yeah bar yeah. like a bit more leaner yeah. <laughs> do you know yeah. what I mean no, no, and that yeah. was it really that yeah. was it I, 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 with the gym, like, I, 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 with I, the gym, I, I, I. <laughs> with the gym, with the gym, don't get me wrong, I do feel, I do feel unbelievable after it, and it's a hard feeling to describe, bro, I don't know if it's because, I don't know, like, it helped me clear the That's head. That's because you're releasing all or, that fucking, all that yeah. natural fucking shit yeah, in your body. Yeah. I do feel, I do feel good after it, like, you know what I mean, but I remember, I went to the gym once, but <laughs> you know, some of them days that I forced myself to go. And I went up and I just literally used the showers. <laughs> 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 and I went in and had a shower and I left for that, yeah, because I just walked in and I was like, oh, I'm not doing this today. <laughs> I just had a shower and I left. <laughs> Do you know what I enjoy doing actually? A bit of swimming. Bit yeah, of swimming I like swimming as crack. well. Yeah, I like swimming. Swimming as well. Yeah, me and Danny used to go. We used to go around to Castlenock Hotel. We joined the gym around there. It's a bit yeah. middle class. But yeah, we joined the gym around there. We were learning how to swim. We were going to Cancun and we learned how to swim, the two of us. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. Uh, it was the only one we could find around the area that had like a heated pool mm. and um, had like a, had all these different facilities or whatever. So yeah, we're like, yeah, oh, fuck yeah. it. We'll join there. We had the money at the time. So we're like, fuck it. We'll join there. So we joined there. And I tell you now, bro, we used to ground, I'd say every second night or whenever we were bored, we're like, come on, we just go around to the hotel and we have a little swim in the pool. Yeah. We used yeah. to ground there and just chill out. It was always empty. Ah, it was great. It was yeah, great. Yeah, unreal. Like, unreal. I, like, I, like, I'd even love to do that. Like, I, we, we bring Dory now. She goes swimming. She goes to a swimming class. Now, on a tours the evening, she goes yeah. up to the aquatic center. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I'd be watching her like and then there's all other classes going on like with adults and stuff and you'd be like 
I'd love to get in there. Yeah, I'd love to you do know, that. I'd yeah, love to yeah, get in there yeah. now. Now, look, I'm not a good swimmer or anything like that. No, I'm still terrified of the water, but I enjoy it. Yeah, but I know yeah. myself, I wouldn't go every like two or three nights. I'd go like probably once once, once a week, maybe at a once push. A week, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'd probably do something like swimming that. Swimming is great as well for that. Oh, it's great for the L joints. Great for the L joints. Uh, oh, it's unreal, brother. It's unreal, I tell you. But, um, it's great for the joints. It's good for the arthritis. It's good for the joints. Get you stoned. Um, yeah. But, <laughs> I, uh, I'm not a great swimmer either, brother. I'm not a great swimmer at all. I, I like barely survive, you know what I mean? That's that's me in the mm. water, like I barely survive. But I do love it. I love it, like I love. It. I don't know how you sit there watching them. I, I, I couldn't watch anybody swim, bro, because I just want to get in, like. You know oh, I mean? that's that's what I was like. That's what I was like. <laughs> I'd just be roasting up there. Just be so hot up there because yeah. you're up in the rafters, like, and it would yeah, be yeah. fucking roasting. And you're like, ugh, sweating, <laughs> gagging to get in. Yeah. But you know what stops me from getting in? Do you know what stops me from like going swimming? What is it? Just going to a local pool, like. Mm. me big belly yeah that as well yeah no you don't have a big belly because I, I get embarrassed say. like no yeah. to me I have a big yeah, belly yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean yeah, yeah. where I feel embarrassed like I feel embarrassed walking around in my little shorts you know what yeah. I mean no no because yeah. I feel like everyone's looking at you nobody's looking at you no one gives a fuck <laughs> nobody gives a rat <coughs> do you know what I mean arse, bro. yeah nobody cares but I still no. like I still get just a bit self-conscious so I do be like you know uh, I go swimming and I'm like, oh, jeez, I'm not in the human taking me bleeding top off walking around yeah, in front of yeah. people. Do you know what no, I mean? <laughs> no, yeah. I know, I know, I know. It, uh, it, it does, it happens, it happens, um, it happens to me as well, bro. Especially when like, you know, when you catch yourself in the mirror, you're like, oh, fuck. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I know. It's that, what I, it's that what I look like in this thing. I look, I look like... Look at this bleeding thing. I look like an like ice... Shrek. I look like an ice cream melting over the cone. Like, you know what I mean? I was like, get me out of here. You know All I, mean? I see is fucking Shrek when I look in the mirror. You know what I mean? Like, oh, for God's sake, he's back. This fucker, I can't get rid of him. <laughs> no, I think... Again. Danielle, he's back. <laughs> get him. Swat him. She runs up with the sweet brush and swat him out. Yeah, get out, yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but on the other side of that, bro, as well, and now we're talking about us and we're talking about our little muffin tops, right? Well, my muffin top, I'll speak for myself. Um, I have one too. But I know we're talking about that, but I have a mate as well who is super skinny, right? Not super yeah. skinny, like, do you know what I mean? But you could look at him and say he's skinny, like, do you know what I mean? Mm. And just the other side of that, like, he wouldn't, in the summer, you won't catch him in a pair of shorts, bro. He's only oh, yeah. in he's only in bottoms. You know what I mean? He's only in cargos or whatever. He never ever put shorts on him. And it's cause he's insecure about his legs. Like Brother, you know I mean? when I was like 14, 15, all all the boys will tell you this, like Ricky and all, like I used to wear jumpers out in the summer. I used, my hands used to be tanned. The Rick fella used to slag me saying the gloves, like, cause you'd lift up my sleeve and it'd be Rocky white. The gloves. And my hand <laughs> and my hands would be brown. And if you take the all the boys would be taking piss out of me, here's gloves. Here's the you know, gloves. There's the fucking gloves. <laughs> and that, I swear to God, man, I used to be like jackets, jumpers, you know, in the summer, in the blazing hot. Yeah, like, you'd yeah, never yeah. catch me in a pair of shorts around because no, I was too skinny. It's I mad. was just so fucking skinny. And it's I was mad. like that till I was about 25. That's mad, man. Because it, like, it's mad when you flip it then. Do you know what I mean? And like he only kind of mm. opened up to me recently about it, like, where he's like, like, oh, he's like, I don't, he's like, I don't mind any of you. Like, do you know what I mean? You and me mates. Like, do you know what I mean? But he's yeah. like, someone I barely know says to me, Oh, look at this fella, he's built like the side of a fiver, like, you know what I mean? Stuff like that, like, no, but you know, <laughs> do you, know, do you know what I'm saying, though? Like, that sort yeah. of thing, like, people, people, that, that sort of thing kind of takes a toll on them, because then he starts getting thick, you know what I mean? Which I think he's, yeah. he's right to as well, like, who the fuck are you? Yeah, of course. Like, to comment course, on me, weight, yeah. whether, whether I'm skinny or, see, people have this, like, preconceived notion of, like, oh, if someone's skinny, like, oh, sure, what, what do they have to complain about? Like, I can call yeah, them skinny. Exactly, do you yeah, exactly. Know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I can call them skinny, like, you know what I mean? They don't have you're to lucky, you're skinny. Yeah. You're very lucky that you're so skinny. And it's that like, well, no, I'm not. Yeah, I'm that's I'm self-conscious sort of about it. That's what I mean. So then when you flip it, it's like, oh, I wish I had his body and he wishes he had mine because he wants meat, like, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's like, it's it's the contrast, <laughs> like, it's the contrast between that. It's it's also feeds into, like, always wanting, you know what I mean? That sort of thing. But yeah, people have this notion, bro, that, like, if someone's skinny, they, 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 they're they entitled to comment on it, like, as well. Do you know what I mean? When it's, mm. it's you don't know. You haven't a clue what story is with with them, like, do you know what I mean? You don't know if they fucking, exactly. they have an eating disorder. You don't know if, and like that on both sides, whether, whether someone yeah. is, quote unquote skinny or quote unquote overweight like do you know what I mean on both sides you don't know if they have an eating disorder you don't know if uh, like let's say for the girls for instance like you don't know whether they're like on on a, a certain pill that makes them gain weight you know what I mean and yeah, exactly, stuff yeah. like that you know what I mean so there's some people that just can't help it brother you know what I mean no matter how much same as the same as like some fellas like you're saying about girls on the pill mm. fellas that are on like uh, certain meds can yeah. balloon them out as well like just fill your body with water 
you yeah. know what I mean? And yeah. they just balloon out. Like, mm-hmm. or these lads that go to the gym or used to go to the gym when they were young, like when they were 15, 16 or whatever, and they're drinking all that juice, like the, the uh, all the creatine, creatine shit, all stuff, that, yeah, all yeah. that juice. Like, you know what I mean? They're probably taking the odd steroid or two just to get buff. Like, do you know what I mean? Not yeah. realizing that all that is is water. It's not. It's not muscle. It's not mass. It's mm. just water. Like you're just filling your. You're just filling your body with fluid. Mm-hmm. When you stop working out and you hit twenty five or like your thirties, yeah, you're gonna fucking. You're gonna look like the bleeding penguin, man. <coughs> you know what I mean? You're gonna yeah, look like a yeah. bowling ball, like yeah. You know, and they but, don't realize. And I know a lot of lads that do look like that. That do look like mm. a fucking bowling ball yeah, because yeah. they're just f- full of all that shit that they used mm-hmm. to take right. in the bleeding gym. Do you know what yeah. I mean? It just sits there. And, yeah. and, and, and they can't understand why they can't get rid of it. Yeah. It's because yeah. <laughs> your, fucking, your body's full of fluid, buddy. Yeah. yeah you know, you're fucked. Well. Yeah, that as well. No, I know. And it's it's, it's a lot. Like, it's, it's, it's very mad. hard to lose that. Like, as soon as you hit fucking 30, it's very hard to lose that. Yeah, yeah. Very of hard to lose that. Of course, yeah. Yeah, no, I know that. My dad is like, that fella, I'm sick of talking about him on this program. Yeah, do you know what? Tell him. You tell him, Rocky. Tell him that this is the last time I'm speaking about him on this fucking thing. It's right? the last time, I know he's the moving. Last time. I'm moving, I am. But, uh, yeah, no, my dad is like, bro, he is like the fittest person I know. Like, do you know what I mean? Oh, fella yeah. smokes. Fella smokes. Well, he used to. He's on the vapes now, but he's trying to get off the smokes. But he used Just to smoke. Just as bad. He used to smoke 60 cigarettes a day, like, and Jesus. go down. And he come, go down to the gym, come home. And he'd be like, look at that. And he'd show me his watch. Something like running straight, bro. Like for two hours or something. Like non-stop. Ridiculous, like, isn't it? non You know what I mean? And he'd done like this this yoke before where like he got like, he entered this thing where like you do like a hundred, something like a hundred and fifty thousand steps or something. Don't quote me on that. I don't know what it is. Like something like that anyway. Something, something crazy. crazy. Yeah, something crazy. And he like, he went and done it and all. But again, my dad, right up until he was in, right up until he was my age, never stepped foot into a fucking gym. Do you know what I mean? Never yeah. fucking, never exercised, never done anything. And it shows, like, in the pictures back in the day. But he's just, my dad, <clears throat> because my dad is obviously older, like, he's, he's like, he's maintaining now, like, do you know what I mean? He's maintaining yeah. now, and he looks fucking unbelievable for his age, like, do you know what I mean? Yeah, he but does. Just because the two of them, my mum and my dad, do you know what I mean? They, they, they both had a bit of weight on them back in the day, like, and it was the same, just from eating takeaways and all that stuff. But, like, my mum moved out to Blanche, bro, and she just started walking around Blanche, like. She literally just started yeah. walking around Blanche and the way fall fell off her like. Do you know what I mean? Mm. That sort of thing. So the two of them are two freaks about their health now. And I think I think that's that's the girl I need to click into now. Like you know what I'm saying? I need to click yeah. into it for that. I need to fucking I need to do something. And come here, like like uh, have you have you never a- asked your dad like for some sort of like like a diet plan or a workout plan or an exercise plan or anything like that? I have. See it's it's Because he has the gym there, like so. Yeah, he has the gym there as well. Listen, the, the little story about that. I asked me that. Listen, I've never been to a gym before. I want you to show me the ropes before I go out on my own. Yeah, so I mean, mm. before you, before you let your little your little bird fly, right? <laughs> so he says, yeah, buzz up to the gym at this time, whatever. He says, kill, cool. walked up. He says to me, right, let's get warmed up. Give me twenty five push ups. I looked at him and said, what? <laughs> and he goes, give me twenty five push ups. I says, do you not understand that I've never ever lifted a weight before me life like I was like you want me to give you 25 I'll give you two do you know what I mean I was like what do you mean 20 give you two at a push <laughs> he was like do as many as you can I think I've done seven or something bro and I was like no fuck that I can't do any more of them like you know what I mean and yeah. Uh, but yeah no that that saying that is that I me mean, that would he'd always give a hand like and I'd always ask him for advice like what I should be eating what blah blah what I should be eating here and so on and so forth but it's just, do you know what it is when it comes to that fitness world, bro? When it comes to that, like, losing weight world, there's so many opinions, like. Like, my dad say to me, like, you can eat whatever you want as long as you exercise like this. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. And then you yeah. go online and someone's like, well, don't eat what you want. This is what you have to eat. And then you can exercise yeah. less and you'll get the same results. You know what I mean? And it's like, you'll still mm. be healthy. So, they, like, I find a lot of them contra- contradict each other. Like, my sister and my dad. They'd contradict each other a lot. Like if I if I asked them to the same question in the in the one room, like until them are in the room, oh chaos, brother, chaos. Yeah. I'm like, should I? Be, I'd be like after I'd be saying like, because this is a good question. I was like to her, when I'm running on the treadmill, yeah, I was saying when I'm running on the treadmill, should I be guzzling water straight after it? Like, because surely that's counterproductive. You know what I mean? Because you're putting the water away back on. Like, do you know what I mean? And she hmm. was like to me, I said that to me sister and me dad. And my dad comes around and says, no, you don't be drinking water after you want a treadmill. Only a little bit or whatever like that. And my sister says, 
<laughs> she was like, obviously, drink the fucking water when you get off the treadmill. <laughs> and it's just, again, it just it just, go, yeah. just goes to show that. it's. I think I think when it comes to that world, bro, and I don't know much about it, don't come for me, but I think from being around these people that, like my dad, that runs the gym and has his own diet plan and does his own shit and the same with my sister and my ma, I think it all just comes down to a matter of opinion and it's all an individuality. My dad can't give me his regime, like, do you know what I mean? Because it mightn't work on me. Do you know what I mean? And then, yeah, it won't work on you. Yeah, You've a different body type. That's what You're I'm a saying. different person. That's what I mean. So it all I think it all comes down to it's just it's just opinions. It's all just comes down to opinions. I would like. I would never go on the internet. Well, I go on to Google and I'd probably search some things and just get a, you know, a little bit of advice, just take it advice from here, from there, from whatever. Yeah, yeah. But I would never go on to you know the way people go on to Instagram and whatever and they follow these these trainers and they kind of do what they do and then it's like well why isn't it working for me it works for you it's mm-hmm. because you're a different fucking person yeah, it's not yeah. going to work for you what works for me isn't going to work for you and what mm-hmm. works for Danielle won't work for Dory do you know what I mean yeah, or what yeah, Dory does yeah, won't work yeah. for Barley and what Barley does won't work for me you know we're all all of our bodies are so fucking different that there's no one mm-hmm. diet or one plan that's going to work for you to lose weight or to get fitter you know, yeah, yeah. you just have to take little bits from different people and kind of figure out what works for you, I guess. <laughs> and that's what I have to do as well. You know yeah, what I mean? I don't yeah. do it, but I have to I have to figure out little things that work for me. You know what yeah. I mean? Like it, it's the exact same as me saying the gym doesn't work for me. It might work for my body, but it doesn't work for me. It doesn't mm-hmm. give me what I need. Yeah to keep going it doesn't give me what i need to motivate myself do you know what i mean and keep me going and keep me active and keep me trying to stay fit doesn't work for me mm-hmm. but yeah yeah if i go out on the bike i'll go yeah. out on the bike for hours yeah and i yeah. won't even notice when i get mm-hmm. home i'll be fucking dead but i won't <laughs> notice you know what i mean <laughs> i won't notice the time go by because i enjoy it and mm-hmm. i don't feel like like i don't feel like i'm exercising do you yeah, know what i'm saying yeah no i know I i'm know, just yeah. doing something that i like doing and it stimulates me in a different way than like a gym would. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. No, one hundred percent, bro. One hundred percent. And again, it's a tough, it's a tough L question. It's a tough L question to answer. It is. Like, it is a tough L know, question. How, to how how to lose weight? Like, it's a diff. It's very difficult. It's very difficult. Difficult for a lot of people. And like my dad, yeah. my dad. It's does so this frustrating thing. for people as well. It's so frustrating. Ah, oh, of course, bro. Especially if like, because now now they, now what they do is they they don't do a, a lot of these personal trainers. They don't do um. Like the scales, scales achievements. They do like what, like if if you look like you've lost weight, but you're still like yeah. the same weight on the scales, then it's grand. Do you know what I mean? Like you don't go by the scales, sort of thing. Yeah, I get you. you know I, mean? I get you. Yeah. So they're doing a lot of them are doing stuff like that. But my dad, man, my dad does the uh, old Tony himself. He does the intermittent fasting, bro. I don't know how he does it. Like I did goes, that for a while. I, I did that for a while. He does. I couldn't do it, bro. I couldn't do it. See, not a chance. See, it, it wouldn't bother me because I don't eat breakfast. So you don't if I stop eating at eight o'clock and don't eat again to yeah. lunchtime the next day or whatever it is, won't bother me at all. Won't yeah, bother me yeah, at all. Yeah, yeah, I suppose, I suppose. Do you know yeah, I've done it for a while. I've done it for a while. You're not a breakfast person, but you're such an early riser. That's mad. Like. Yeah. Oh, I'd be up at the crack of dawn, yeah. <laughs> His fella doesn't sleep. That's what I'd be saying to him. Oh, I do. <laughs> I'm a lazy bastard. Are you mad? I'd be in bed at 10 o'clock. <laughs> Get up at fucking seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're an early riser though, so that's that's mad that you don't you don't um you don't have breakfast because I find the days when I do get up early is obviously they're the ones they're the days that I do have breakfast like do you know what I mean? Because yeah. I'm not great at breakfast either, bro. Like I'll, I'll, I don't know, like I don't know. Again, I just think it's laziness. Like if it's made for me, I'll eat it. Like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, what I'm yeah. Like, um, but yeah, I don't think I'm like. I, I'd much rather, like, get up, like, let's say if I was going to the gym in the morning, I'd get up and I'd go to the gym without anything, like, do you know what I mean? I'd come home yeah. and have something to eat then, which would probably mm. be, like, 11 or 12 or whatever, like, do you know what I mean? So, yeah. Um, yeah, and which is dangerous as well, because my sister used to do that and she fucking found out the hard way, bro. She bleed and she passed out up in the gym on her own as well. There was nobody there. She wasn't in, like, an actual oh, gym. Jesus. She went to she went to the gym on an empty stomach, like, and she was wearing, yeah. a, sw- she was wearing a sweatsuit under the, the, the treadmill, like. She's trying to make way for a fight, like. And, no, uh, she can't be doing that. Yeah, yeah. and um, she, she bleeding past out, bro. She had the keys to the gym, so she was up there and I bleeding now, and, like, woke up and she no, freaked fuck. out, obviously. Yeah, but there's, there's dangers to it as well, but I'm just, like you, I think I've went so long without having breakfast, like, is that when I go, and you, go to the gym, like, it doesn't really... Don't feel weak or anything. Like, you know what I mean, I don't really feel like fucking like oh, I'm gonna hit the blade and deck or anything. Do you know what I'm saying? 
yeah. um, when I don't have it. I don't know. Maybe because I eat so late the night before that the next day I don't have to eat till a little bit longer. I don't know. I don't know, bro, what way it works. It's all fucking mad. It's all mad. Who knows? You're not great at eating. But you know what you are great at? What? Dad jokes. Yo! Dad bod jokes. Hello! Go on. Go on. <laughs> Go on. I have a Go on, Ewella. Can I have a cue, but later, I don't be fucking stressing about it, right? Um, yeah, so, Kaylin started school last week, right? Go on, it's <laughs> very obviously, early. Obviously, he's fucking been like <laughs> five months, he's intelligent. Um, Kaylin started school last week and uh, he was doing history homework, right? Yeah. And he asked me, he's like, Dad, what do you know about Galileo? I said, he was a poor boy from a poor... <laughs> I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. <laughs> that was a bit obvious. That was a bit I obvious. knew it was coming. Galileo, Galileo, take me home. I don't know if I've ever said this one, right? I think it just sounds familiar, but I don't know if I've ever said this one in an episode, and if I did, if I, did I apologize. But two years ago, yeah, I, yeah. Went to me, I went to me. I went to the doctor, and he told me I was deaf. I haven't heard from him since. <laughs> no, you did, yeah, you did. did, you did, did, say did. It's a great one. <laughs> <laughs> I love that one. I love that one. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me Give see. Give us a goodie. So I was driving down the road today, yeah? Hmm. And uh, I stopped the boy. I stopped... <laughs> I stopped... I stopped the boy. I stopped by a stand that said, Lobster Tails, two euro, <laughs> right? Yeah. Lobster Tails, two euro. It says, oh, I'd love a little lobster tail. Have a lo- Did you ever have a lobster tail? It's lovely, right? So I'll have a little lobster tail, right? Stepped out of the car, paid the man the two quid. And he says to me, I says to him, I paid him out two quid. I said, where's my lobster tail? And he goes, once upon a time, there was a lobster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Danielle said to me the other day, this is a real elbow on the, on the bar <laughs> me and you in a couple of years in a few years time right giving out about the missus in two right? weeks yeah two weeks go up right piss drunk so Danielle says to me so Danielle says to me the other night if you won the lottery would you still love me I said of course you would I'd miss you but I'd still love you <laughs> <laughs> that's a great one that is a real like pull me finger joke isn't it yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a great one that's a great right. One. So I have a have another one. Right, go on, one more, one more, go on. My dog's name. We we got a new dog, right, in the gaff. Yeah. And we called him Minton. Yeah. Oh lovely. Minton. I think it's a nice name, bro. It's gorgeous. Today he ate a sh- he ate a shuttlecock. Bad Minton. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh my god. <laughs> Badminton, oh no! My God. Badminton! <laughs> Badminton! Badminton! That's terrible. That is awful. Oh that God. is awful. I would have said oh. boardy. He ate a boardy. Badminton! <laughs> yeah. Badminton! Badminton! <laughs> Get out of here, you bad bastard. Oh, well, it's I a- hope you've enjoyed that episode and. Uh, if you struggle with your weight, don't worry, we all do. Yeah, we all do. We're we all, all insecure. Do. We're all insecure about our weight. Yeah. Doesn't yeah. matter who it is. Everybody's and insecure. Don't forget to love yourself for who you are as well. Some things can't be changed. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. that's fine. That's fucking fine. If you, as well. Do you know what's good advice, actually? If you ever compare yourself, right? If you ever on Instagram or anything, yeah? Right, right, right. Or like you're looking at these famous fucking people or whatever, somebody that you pure admire, right? Yeah. And you say, Jays, aren't they perfect now? Look at their body, aren't they fucking perfect? I guarantee if you do a little deep dive, just a little Google search, mm-hmm. anything, I guarantee you will find at least 10, 20 things that they hate about themselves. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And you'll read that and say, Jesus, how the fuck could you hate that now? You're so perfect. And they're like, well, this is why I hate it. Every yeah. single person on this fucking planet, bar probably Andrew Tate, hates something about themselves. Yeah, yeah, everybody. Yeah, yeah, everybody yeah. hates something about themselves. Yeah, There's course, one little man. thing somebody can't stand about themselves, yeah. and somebody from the outside looking in be going, "Why? I'd, I'd love why to do you that. fucking or hate why? that? I'd yeah, love yeah. that." Yeah, you know. Yeah. So take that, take that how you want it. Be kind to yourself. Be gentle. Be gentle. And look, and 
It's not a fucking race, yeah? It's not a marathon. You'll exactly. get there. You'll get exactly. there. Just tip exactly. away. Tip away. Don't be stressing, lads. Don't don't always look inward. Always look around you as well, you know? And make sure that exactly. the people around you are happy and you're happy. And that's all that really matters at the end of the day, you know? And on that lovely note... I've been Flynn Johnson. I've been ROT. ROT. Rot! He rotten! I've been... I've been R.O.T. <laughs> R.O.T. Rocky Overtime. <laughs> rock um, me overtime, baby. Rock me overtime, baby. Thanks for tuning in. No, listen, in. be good to yourselves. Be kind, be kind. Be yes, kind. Go yes. rub a dog. Go rub be a nice dog. Be nice to yourself. Feed the ducks. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where I did that, bro. It's so... <laughs> a little witch whale at the end. <laughs> Badminton. It's a little cackle. It's a little cackle. Badminton. <laughs> You swine!